What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and welcome to the Saga Horizons YouTube channel. Today I just wanted to briefly discuss my impressions and thoughts of a microphone for my camera that I purchased recently. This is the Rode Video Mic Go. This is a condenser shotgun microphone that is used to improve the audio quality over your camera's internal microphone. So this is the middle tier for the camera microphones that Rode offers. So you can either start with the Video Micro or get this Video Mic Go or the Video Mic Pro. Yes, it is pretty tongue twisting. Video Micro, Video Mic Go, and Video Mic Pro. So before we get into the pros and cons of this microphone, this is a super cardioid polar pattern mic, which means that the response is going to be picked up directly in front of the mic versus to the sides where that's going to be filtered out for the most part. So this microphone retails for around $100 or so. I did do some research before I bought this microphone, and for the most part there were good reviews on it. I guess I didn't do enough research because there was one thing that I found out that would have deterred me from making this purchase, and we will get into that one thing shortly. So what I like about this microphone is, number one, it is a pretty simple straight design, and it is really lightweight as well. So this sits on a shock mount type of base, which is really cool. So that's going to eliminate any bumps or noise from your microphone hitting your camera. So this microphone is mostly comprised of a high composite plastic, which is pretty sturdy and doesn't seem flimsy like it's going to break or anything like that. So this base is made of a good quality metal and you would just slide this into the channel on top of your camera, which is either for your microphones or your flashes, etc. Just slide it in and then tighten down this screw and that's pretty secure. And then all you have left to do is plug this into your external microphone input on your camera and you're ready to go. So the pros of this microphone would be its price point as it comes in right around $100 or so. The other fact that it is pretty simple, doesn't need a battery, and is a simple plug and play feature. And then also the shock mount that really definitely helps from any bumps or anything that may interfere with your audio. So a few cons of this microphone, if you're outside, whether you're vlogging or just capturing some footage of some sort, this little foam over the microphone itself doesn't really do much at all, and this does pick up a ton of wind noise. If I was to continue with this microphone, I would definitely switch this up and put one of those like, I don't know exactly what they're called, but like those sock mittens or those big fuzzy funny looking things, even though this is pretty funny itself. So as there are a few good pros to this microphone, there is one major con, which would make me not want to recommend this microphone to anyone. And that is that this microphone is not shielded, which means that this can pick up interference from anywhere. Common interference would be from a cell phone, a computer, anything that's hooked up to a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. That's just gonna cause interference in here, and that could be very annoying. And if you're asking what does that sound like, it sounds exactly like this. Which could ruin some, if not all, of your video footage. And I have run into this problem almost every time using this microphone. And that is huge, because as much as video quality is important, audio quality is just important. So I have played around with this microphone quite a bit, both inside as well as outside. And I've even, after this interference issue, I've tried taking my phone out of the equation, any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth near the area, and I still get interference. So I would actually recommend, instead of buying this Video Mic Go, to step it up and go to the Video Mic Pro, which yes, that is $200 for this $100 microphone, but just ask yourself, what is the value of that $100 difference? You could be out filming something that you may never get the opportunity to film again, and because of this interference issue, that could totally scrap and ruin your footage. So that's where it comes to me where that $100 difference is well worth it. So if you guys have had this microphone before, if you have any experiences, whether they are similar or different, or you've by any chance found a way around that interference issue, please feel free to drop that in the comment section below. So I just wanna thank you guys again for watching this video. If you have found this any way helpful, please slap that like button. If you're tuning in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.